You got me laying down with Adam. And that's a big thing down there in South America. You go down there and watch a woman have sex with a mule. Donkey, yeah. They do it in Mexico, they call it donkey show. Right. That, that's a big thing. Read it again, bro. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner. Right, and what happened to them cities? Fine brimstone was rained down upon them cities, man. What makes you think that ain't that this is any different? What makes you think that this place ain't gonna be destroyed any fucking different, man? What makes this place so much and more impermeable to where it won't be destroyed? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. The Lord hated them societies. Con. He destroyed them. The same thing is gonna happen with this society, man. Con. Right. Whether you wanna believe it or not, whether or not when you wake up in the morning and everything is flowers and sunshine, you stretch and come out the house and you can go on about your day to day and everything is hunking door in your mind, it's still gonna be destroyed. That's right. Uh, hey, can I say something real quick? And yeah, man, uh, the scriptures speak of a kingdom to come, man, that's gonna uh, be an everlasting kingdom. And in order for that to happen, this uh, this present kingdom gotta be destroyed. Right, man. I was watching that uh, that movie Hercules, and uh, part of the movie, man, uh, Hercules' mom uh, had asked about her older brother, and basically asked the teacher of the kid children, "Are you gonna teach him war?" And his response was, he said, "History is the chronicle of war. Every kingdom was wicked as hell, and it was destroyed through warfare, man." So what make America any different than the rest of the kingdom that was destroyed uh, in, uh, in in past history, man? Yeah. This is a wicked, wicked society that has to be destroyed so the kingdom of heaven can be established on earth, man. Right. And it will happen. I say something, calm, bro. It says it's gonna be an everlasting kingdom. So in order for a kingdom to be everlasting, the inhabitants have to procreate. So if you have a, a homosexual society, everybody homosexual. There will be no procreation. Huh. Therefore, the kingdom can't last. There's still some more. There's still more in this. And giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh yep. are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Yep, eternal fire. The America is going to be that lake of fire, man. Them ICBM nuclear missiles are gonna drop on this, they gonna rain down on this place, man. Right. You, you think that all these weapons that have been created for destruction ain't gonna get used? That's what they were created for. That's right. I don't buy shoes just to sit them in my closet. Come. I buy shoes so I can use them. These nukes were created to be used. They will be used, every single one. And like the brother is saying, you're not gonna have the kingdom of heaven set up with Babel still sitting over here with all kind of manners of wickedness going on. Them two kingdoms ain't gonna stand side by side. One gonna be destroyed and the other one is being established right now. You got to go bring your priest in right now. It's 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know you not that the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Right. Nor idolaters. Right. Nor adulterers. Right. Nor effeminate. Right. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Yep. Nor thieves. Yep. Nor covetous. Nor drunkards. Nor revilers. Nor extortioners. All these titles that are being read off are the, the, the common everyday American, man. Yep. Calm. These, what the brothers read, and you can start back from the top, yeah. this is the people of America, the people of Babel. That's, you can put these titles on the people of this society, man. Read them again, I. No, you're not, the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. The unrighteous ain't gonna inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. That's right. The wickedness of this place is not going into the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead, brother. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Because your local pastor will tell you, well, Jesus love everybody. Oh, shit. <laughs> everybody going to heaven. Oh, crap. That's a load, man. 
that's just to get you in there. Oh, well, shit, I can do whatever. I'm at the club Saturday night, all up in different people's faces. And Sunday morning, I'm going to be worshiping the Lord. That's complete madness. God and that's the right. main thing. They just want you to come in there and give them that bread. Break bread. Hypocrites. While you sitting there catching the, the church bus to get to this harlot house, pastor riding up in the 2014 Cadillac. No, they don't rock Cadillacs. Oh, my bad, brother. They got Maybacks. Maybac. <laughs> <Music>. Woo! <laughs> That's true. Oh, that is true. Yeah, oh, some yeah, flying. Yeah, I hear you. Shit. And yeah, a talk down on you, cause you ain't got what they got. I got a thirty-five thousand dollar dog. <laughs> what? Yeah, I barely could buy me a can of beans. Gone. Your dog living better than me. But here goes ten percent. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus, twelve and six. For the most high hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Right? That that's plain. <laughs> Read it again, brother. For the most high hated sinners. The most high hated sinners, man. And that go for the actual person they sell and not just the act that they commit. Right. Because Comics. that's another <laughs> man, that's that's dumb, man. Yeah. For you to even think, well, God hates the sin, not the sinner. That's pure madness. Yeah, yeah, that God. Another yeah. reason why this is Babel, because that's confusion. How the hell you hate the sinner? I mean, the sin, but you don't hate the person that's committing the sin. Yeah. So if somebody came and molested your child, you hate that the child got molested, but you don't hate the person that did the shit. Come on, man. Get for real, man. Get out of these false philosophies that these so-called pastors are pushing on our people. That's these false doctrines, man. Hey, why do they put people to death for murder? Right. Get Psalm 5 and 4 real quick, real quick. Read that again, I right? five, five. Come on. Well, you can start it for yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 6. But the most high hate, hated the sinner. Right. And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Right. So if you're not trying to live according to this word, to the best of your ability, the most high gonna repay you for that. There's a price to pay for the seeds you sow. Whatever you sowing, you gonna reap. Bring that out. out. The Psalms 5 and 4. For thou art not a power that hate and that have pleasure in wickedness. The most high ain't got pleasure in this place. Because uh. this place is just bomb a, a bombardment of wickedness, man. Ain't nothing but wickedness going on in this society, and it don't stop. You ain't gotta go to Vegas right. to be consumed in wickedness. Hey. If right now I wanna go buy me some pills and buy me some whatever drugs I want and get loaded and go sleep with a man and his dog, I got the, I got the freedom to do that here. 24-7, it don't stop. You can get high constantly. You can commit adultery constantly. Wickedness don't stop, it just, it's a juggernaut. Wickedness is a juggernaut in this damn society, man. Come on. Bring sand, uh, it's like only one life to live, so live it up to the foot. YOLO. Yeah, YOLO, that's right, come that's, on. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. But all the examples and ways that they speaking of to live it up is complete wickedness and yeah. go against the scriptures, man. Yeah. They're not telling you to live it up righteously. Right. They telling you to just fulfill the lust of your flesh. Whatever you feel like you just, I just got, I want to do that. That's going to make me feel good. Dive head deep into it. Go ahead, brother. Psalms 5 and 4. For thou art not a, a power that have pleasure in wickedness. Right. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. And evil, ain't, that's like we was just saying. Babylon ain't gonna stand with the kingdom of heaven side by side. Read that last line again. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. Right. So evil ain't gonna dwell with the most high. Babylon gonna be destroyed. Go ahead, bro. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. The foolish ain't gonna stand in the sight of the heavenly father, man. He gonna destroy him. Go ahead, bro. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. 
workers of iniquity. Sure, they say works. Read it again, bro. Dog haters all workers of iniquity. Workers being the person and iniquity being the thing that they doing. Yeah. Thou haters all workers of iniquity. So if you committing iniquity, if you sinning, the most high hate you and the sin that you commit and you gonna be destroyed for it. It's that simple. So repent, quit doing the shit you doing, and try and come back to the ways of the heavenly father, man. What you got, bro? There's still some more. Go ahead, all right. Sixth verse. <laughs> Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The most high will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. That's plain. You gonna be you gonna be destroyed, man. Lisa. Say falsehood. Fact, it means falsehood. Right. And it's who's me. doing that? Because the brother asked, you know, about the word Lisa. And the brother told him it's, that means false, falsehood. In other words, lies. lies. Your pastor is telling you, come to church, sow a seed, you can be prosperous. Yep. That's like me going, boarding the Titanic and trying to open up a, a, a restaurant on the Titanic, man, while his nose is taking a nosedive. America is the Titanic, just to make, put it into an analogy. It's sinking. Why would I try to open up a business on a sinking ship? This place is out of here, man, and it's evident. You got sinkholes all over the goddamn place. You got all... It's all kind of shit going on, man. So much, I could stand here and name it till the Lord returns. The physical uh, uh, structure of this place is to decompose it, man. Yep. You got bridges collapsing left and right. Man. Yep. Right. You got buildings falling apart. Yep. That's why construction is big in America, because they got to keep patching up these buildings, man. Right. Every uh, two to three years, they got to uh, open up a major construction site on these buildings to keep that motherfucker standing, man. Yep. But this place is falling apart, and they don't have the 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 uh, the, the the resources to 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 repair all the broken everything that's broken here. You America is in debt, man, to other countries, mainly China. They can't repay that debt. Like settling the land, bro. That's right. Speak on it, bro. No, um. What was, them, what was them guys out there in Arizona? They got their, their land took in Bundy. China. The, you know, Bundy the, Bundy the Bundy Ranch, yeah. So they said they sell the land of America they own. They can't pay them with cash, so they gonna sell the land to them. Yeah. That's why so many, that's why so many um places out here in the United States, especially in Houston, you go on Bel Air, um, they got their own street signs and everything in their own name, they got their own community, everything. But they yeah, they own. Uh, Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Read it again, brother. It's the Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Right. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Right, man. Who? The most high posing the question, man. Who's going to do that? Is it T.D. Jakes? Is it <coughs> Pastor Cree Flo Dollar? Is it uh, any of these other false pastors that the majority of our people listen to, man? Are they standing up for the Lord? They won't even tell you who you are. All the most they'll tell you is, oh, well, you're a Christian. You can be a Christian. What uh, that mean? Yeah, what that mean? You ask the majority of these people what the word church mean and they couldn't tell you. They can't even tell you what church mean. They don't make no sense. So the Most High is asking who's gonna stand up for him. We out here standing up for the Lord. Not boasting on it, but just saying. That's why we out here, man, and this is our reasonable service, man. That's right. We, we owe that. We, we, we owe that, man, reasonably. For everything that the Most High has done for us, it's reasonable enough for us to come out here and push His word, man, and to 
for and, and try to well, push out the word to his elect, man. That's why we out here. We not out here to bring the whole nation together. We not out here to hold hands and sing kumbaya. We out here so this word can be projected. So hopefully the elect hear it and come into the fold. So the Lord return and get us the hell out of this captivity. Because right. contrary to popular belief, we are captives in this land. We are modern day slaves. If you don't think you're a slave, and you think you're free, shit. Go against one of these so-called laws this white man got set up. If you think you're free. If you hell, you think you're free, ride up and down the damn street without your seatbelt on. Then you grow. I ain't got the right to not want, if I don't want to wear my goddamn seatbelt, I bought this fucking car. Didn't my taxpayers, tax dollars pay for this goddamn road I'm riding on? Don't I pay my fucking insurance? I got to put my seatbelt on, why? Because you ain't free. Freedom in this place is a damn illusion, man. That's a lie. They tell you you free and you're not free. You freak with paying taxes. Let's see how free your ass is. Get sick on the job, say, and walk off. Skip a child support. Yeah, man. skip child support payment. <laughs> see how free your ass uh, is. Try to leave the country without permission. Shit, try to leave the country without permission. Try to permission. cross that imaginary border, that imaginary line that they say separates this country from that country without permission from this so-called white man and see how free you are. You are free to move about the country. Yeah, but you ain't free to move about the world. Con. Hey, you're not even free to drive, you're not even free to drive your vehicle. No. That's a, that's a privilege. Yep. Because if you don't meet certain guidelines that they require you to 